All, all right, right, all right, all right. I'm gonna leave I'm sorry y'all had to deal with these two guys this whole time. I'm back, guys. Don't worry, I'm back. Hush, I'll fight you. Yeah. Okay, I, didn't say, now. I didn't say I'd win. But <laughs> hey, I Look appreciate it, guys. So, guys, yes, sir, uh, fill, me you, in. Brian. fill me in. Who we got here, guys? All right, you got uh, Jose Mercado fighting out of the red corner. Okay. Uh, he's, uh, well, here you go. I'll give you his, his paperwork. You. Out of Houston, Texas. Okay. Trains uh, Four Ounce Fight Club. Against uh, Bobby Ricks. Over here in, in the blue corner. The cannibal. Nice, great job, good combination there. I like that jab, jab, cross. Nice push kick, but you got to keep your balance there. It looks like he, you know, it, it looks bad in the eyes of the judges. Yeah, but it just goes to show the power, the stance, or the power and the stance of his opponent. Right. Oh, nice swing and a miss. Too small, dude. Tad coming. Ain't that something? I'm all wrapped up in my cord. I, I was in the same position earlier. Man, that's tight, dude. Yeah, he's you got don't, it in you there, don't but see a lot of standing guillotines being finished, but man, that sucker is deep. Uh, he's doing the right thing. The high cross is always available uh, when you do that head on the outside guillotine right there. Uh, you can always do that head. You can always do the high cross takedown there. You see anything up under there? I don't, dude. I think we're there's one down there. We're trying to charge a telephone. Yeah, there he is. I'll get you after the park. So if, if uh, I mean, he's got it stuck. I mean, but well, he's, it's nothing. Um, but he's. I don't think it's having any effect. But he looks really. Like Robbie a, could 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 finish that takedown there. He really needs to reap that leg, and he could finish running the pipe there. I, I don't know why he doesn't just let it go. Yeah, uh, you know, if he knew what he was doing, he could finish that takedown there. That, 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 that choke's not a threat, you know? If, if anything, it's taken, taken more out of Mercado, I would think. Well, Rick, if, if you're listening, man, you can get a high crotch here. You, you can get the, the high crotch there, grab him between his legs, pick him up and slam him there to your right, or reap the leg. You see you've got his leg there. You pull that leg up high and you can finish that takedown, brother. I don't know why you're hanging out here. Uh-oh. Listen, he can finish this. With him putting his back on the fence like that, he can finish that guilty. Yeah. I was kind of, I'm with you on, you know, why wait? Because it can always turn into something. Right. It, it, just because it's not having any effect right now doesn't mean right. it's not going to lead to something. Yeah. And that's something else he's going to get used to. You know, you can throw those reinforced knees now. You know, it's tiring to be sitting in a choke like that. It'll wear you out. Good elbow. Oh, oh. Elbow's available? Is this a... Uh, uh, yeah, it's profile. Profile? Nice. 
Yeah, it's a five minute round. Yeah, good first round. All <laughs> right. It's always get to, uh, good to get a ringside judge to help you out. Yeah. That's right, always is. Yeah. So are the rest of these fights pro? They are. Josh Islas, uh, Jesus Martinez, Tyler Smith, Malik Lewis. Nice. All to come. Nice elbow on the inside. Oh. Jumping front kick there. You know, I, I've got to give it up to Johnny, man. He's bringing a lot of good talent in from around the world, man. It's, okay. it's, it's pretty impressive. Uh, he should use his double unders here and try to turn him here. But he gets a takedown. That works, too. Nice. I love how he says he's putting his knee yeah, on top yeah, of his arm yeah, yeah. there. I love Trying that. To a lot of times you can trap that arm and then really land some good ground and pound. You know, not to mention what what rolling the knee joint across the bicep. Oh, yeah. Bring a little pain. Man, what'd you call that? Uh, what'd you call this? The paw paw claw. Paw paw claw. I can't wait to tell my grandpa that, man. I've been in church many a Sundays. My grandpa gave me the Paul Paul claw. The, the thing is, though, if you do that correctly, it makes you laugh. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, it didn't make me laugh. I was upset. It, it, you gotta get it. Oh boy, <laughs> boy, it always got my attention. Good. It tickles a little bit. <laughs> you knew we were back up, Jeff. No, I'm. I got my cords all wrapped around me here. Nice, straight takedown. Take great take that. Take that. takedown. Nice. Jose landed a great takedown there. And, uh, I don't exactly know what happened to the <laughs> side of the cage here, but I got a piece loose. Up, oh, get on the back. He's under the neck, brother. He is. He's under the neck. But it's going to be tough for him to finish. He's not squared up with him. Well, we'll see. If, if that kid's smart, he'll put he's, his back on the fence, and he can he can still defend here. He's trying to push it. You see, how he's, you see how he's not square on his back. You know, he shouldn't be able to finish here, but it's possible, man. He might be able to get one of those arteries in there and, uh, and close it off and finish. Oh, he's going to get it. Wait. He's coming off the back now. I can't see. Is, is he under the neck still, Jeff? I see it under the neck. I don't think he has it. No, he's under the neck. You know, uh, I uh, fell off. Yeah, he's losing. Both fighting real smart. Well. <laughs> All right, so he needs to switch his hips, bring his left knee over, and come to the top. He does need to wait with his back here on the mat. He needs to come now. Because he waited there, it allowed him to come up over the top and, and control the top position. He doesn't have the choke there. He needs to try to stand up here. Yeah, at this if point, we do, I understand Jose's tired. You know, you're, you're going to get tired in his fights, but if you're going to call yourself a professional, you need to try to work up off the mat here. Yeah, you got and look, look, he's starting to stand up. That's what you need to do. Yeah, That's yeah. right, brother. You're doing the right thing. Keep coming up. That's great advice for these kids. I mean, 
and, yeah. and making that switch to pro that's that's a lot bigger deal than a lot of folks that's may think. I mean, it really it's is. It's tougher than a lot of people think. Because, I mean, you can be 12 and 0 undefeated amateur, but the day you go pro, yeah. that's, it's another that's level. gone. Yeah, it's another level. Oh, yeah, that's gone and over. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I like telling my guys, my amateurs, they're always like, man, they're, they're scared to take fights sometimes. And I ask them, can you tell me Mike Tyson's amateur record? No, no. you can't. Nobody knows. So uh, I say that to say, as an amateur, it's about building up. It's about building your resume. This, you know, taking fights. Okay, you drop one. So what? There's Nobody a lot of remembers lessons. It. There's That's a right. lot of lessons and losses. That's right. It, I mean, an amateur is just about building your resume, building your your your, your experience and 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 learning, man. So if there's any my, amateurs out here listening, man, it's important, man. Take fights. Take all the fights. You drop one, so what? Take the next one, man. Because, again, nobody remembers your amateur record. Once nope. you turn pro, it doesn't even matter. Nope. That's tight, dude. Yeah. For five seconds, we're going to... Yeah. He gave him the thumbs up there. He's good. Yeah. I mean, both of these guys just tough. Yeah, tough. I'm here to tell you, both these guys are exhausted right now, dude. That's taken... It takes so much out of you just to hold the man in place. Yeah. But yeah, Robbie Ricks over here in the blue corner. Jose Mercado in the red. Hey, Daniel. Yes. Here we are, Jeff, round three. Uh, and this, so Stop this is the students there, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. Yeah, Daniel Hines, uh, corrections officer, but uh, Afghanistan veteran. All right, you can respect that, man. Go with us later. All right. Both these guys, tough, tough. Tough fight. Looks like it looks low like we blow. got a uh, low blow. You know that's uh, that's. You know, out of 15 fight, or well, I guess we've had what 12 fights so far. To only that's only three low blows yeah. all night. That's these things are going to happen, man. Just uh, just uh, part of the game. You know, so that's a testament. Kind of like to the, the eye pokes, man. Things are going to happen. Oh yeah. It's uh, not intentional. And that's the, the thing about some somebody at the caliber of Rocky Demir, our, our officials. Mm -hmm. um, if someone did do it on Dude, purpose, he I, is expert know, enough to right. know. That's right. I'm glad you said that, man. You know, you're a super nice guy. But I'm here to tell you, there's fighters out there, Jeff, that will fake mm -hmm. that, uh, that growing chart just to get some time to breathe. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a real thing. And uh, like you said, Rocky is one of those refs that he, he, he knows. He ain't, he, 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 it's not his first rodeo. You yeah, know? he'll he'll call you on it. All right, we're ready to go back to the fight. Here we are, third round. A little four over minutes four left. minutes left in the final round. Good now it God. went the other way. Yeah, now it went the other way. We had to get him but back. Yeah. Yeah. But we ain't got that kind of time, y'all. Come on. Yeah, no doubt, man. But the rules are rules. Rocky has to follow the rules and do what he's got to do, you know? That's right. 
No vid next fight. Gotcha. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. Four minutes left. Third round. This is it, guys. All right, it's good hands. Both good with head movement. Bo both these guys, great skill with that. Yeah, I'd honestly like to see both of them strike a bit more. Yeah, it, it's. It, they've both got great striking abilities, yet both seem to want to grapple. Yeah. Am, I, am I, I wrong? Yeah, you're right. And, Jared, I, I'll tell you, and, and a lot of comfort comes when, when you close the gap and you're grappling or pummeling. It's not as scary as, as the, the nerves aren't as bad as when you're out there striking. You know, does that make sense? Yeah, because. Uh, uh, but you're right, dude. They both need to trust their talent, trust who they are, because they're both good strikers. Both of them need to be out here uh, letting their hands go because uh, they're, they're just showing a shell of how good they can be by, by, by not doing it. That's right. They're, they're, they, but they both of them have shown some spectacular striking. Yeah. I, uh, Kicks. You know, but, but I get it, dude. As a fighter, I'll tell you, you have to fight that voice. That voice tells you, clench up, you know, hold yeah. him, hold him. You know, it's a safer thing to do. But in reality, man, if, if you want to show out, if you want to perform, you want to separate and let your hands go and, and open up and, and swag out a bit. There we go. Here we go. Let's yeah, go, guys. Right back Trust up. yourself. Let your stuff go. Let's go. Let's fight. Nice. There you go. Trade that two for an uppercut and it'll land, brother. I mean, they're throwing these. If they land nice. these punches, they're, they're going to take some teeth. Yeah, Robbie's doing a great job of dipping under. Uh, Jose needs to, to, to switch. Instead of throwing that straight right hand or right hook, he needs to go to the uppercut and he'll land. Oh, there he goes on the uppercut. That's what he needs to do. Nice, good knee. Beautiful read there. If you're listening, man, great read. Uh, good read. Nice. That was a slip. You know, that, that sucks, man. That landed. That was a good shot. That was a good decision. These things happen. Those slips happen. That was a good decision and, and, a, and a good throw. Yeah, that was a, was a slip off the decal there. You can, yeah, it happens, man. From my but that was a good, it. good thrown shot. You know, that it landed. It just, uh, these things happen. But it was a good read and a good uh, good throw. Trying to stack up on him. One minute left. So now's the time to do it. But again, both of them seem to just be trying to, to stick to their grappling game. Okay, you're good, brother. Yeah. So we got an Alma Plata attempt here, man. Uh, this is potential to finish this. He's to scoot his hips out. If he scoots his hips out, flattens him out, he can finish here. 30 seconds left, though. He's got to do something. The cage is giving him a bit of trouble here. Yeah, he's not able to get him on 20 around, seconds it's, left, it's you know. Up, uh, you you, you want to do something big to try to solidify the win here. Looks like this is going to the judges, Jeff. Yeah. Never want to leave it in the hands of the judges, but sometimes that's just the way it is. <laughs> TJ going to hit. <laughs> I got you all wrapped up too, don't I? <laughs> we got cords everywhere over here. Good fight. Good fight. Both of these young men, Robert Ricks and Jose Mercado. Did you go smoke? Smell it.
My coaches, my team from Star Club, Houston, Texas, all my friends, my family, our beautiful girl, Donnie Cruz, in the crowd. Everybody, man, it's, it, was, it was a tough uh, road to get here. Now, well, let's give all due respect to your opponent, but you came out uh, uh, victorious, man. Congratulations. Let's give him a hand, guys. Great job tonight. I want to thank the beautiful people that came out to see me fight. Thank you, right, man. Thank you, guys.